Hey there, Meadowbrook Church. Hope that you're doing well and having a great week. You know, as we move through this series forward, we are bringing you each week different stories and testimonies of how God has worked in and through the lives of the people of our church, specifically in the areas of community, the next generation, and moving into the world. And so today we have a story of how God has worked through the community of Meadowbrook Church. So I want to introduce you to my friend. This is Travis. Hello. Travis, you can say hi. Hi, I'm yeah. Travis. <laughs> and how long have you been coming to Meadowbrook Church? Just shy of a year now. Yeah, so I can remember one of the first weeks that you walked in here, and how would you describe where you were at in life when you walked through the doors of our church? Yeah, uh, walking through the doors of Meadowbrook uh, was coming out of a really challenging season. Um, had just a lot of uh, newness that I was trying to navigate was new to the area was um, in need of community mm -hmm. and uh, just looking for um, hope mm -hmm. yeah I, I remember it seemed as though those days were really hard days those first days of being here were really hard days in the, the wider landscape of your life and uh, what did you experience in those first few weeks and months coming to our church yeah I mean the first few weeks, uh, I remember being constantly just uh, impressed, mm -hmm. uh, impressed with um, the sweetness of fellowship, mm -hmm. um, impressed with the kindness that was shown. Mm -hmm. um, I remember walking into the back trying to hide, mm -hmm. uh, just trying not to be seen, mm -hmm. um, but uh, despite my best efforts, uh, Rita tapped me. She would not let you hide. She wouldn't she let me hide. She doesn't let anybody no. hide. She grabbed me a cup of coffee and and asked me uh, just about what was going on. Yeah. And and then there were others that did took that same initiative mm -hmm. to to welcome me yep. and uh, and just bring warmth. Um, and that's one of those things that I continually hear from people who are new to our church that. Our church is so welcoming, so hospitable, and I think that's nothing that I can say I've brought to the church that's been a part of Meadowbrook for as long as th it's been around, yeah. for the 35 years it's, it's been a church. So it, as you think about where you were versus where you are now, how would you describe where you're at today? Yeah, uh, today I feel as though I've uh, found my footing again. Mm -hmm. I feel as though... Um, the breath has returned mm -hmm. to my lungs. You know, there was uh, such a need um, to be seen mm -hmm. and be received, mm -hmm. and that was uh, very much what I experienced. What, what would you say even specifically are the things that got you from where you were to where you are? I know that you've had lots of support in all areas of your life, but as you have engaged in Middlebrook, what have been those things that our church has offered that have helped you get from where you were to where you are today? Yeah, um, the, uh, the thing that first comes to mind would be um, just the additional um, classes that mm -hmm. are provided, the additional opportunities to connect the midweek, mm -hmm. um, the legacy class, mm -hmm. the, um, uh, the, the uh, worship nights, mm -hmm. um, just the opportunities uh, just provided. The, the door is open to people who want more and who are looking for more and um, uh, just the availability of, uh, of the church. Yeah, yeah. I, I still remember you jumping right in. I mean, within those first few months, coming to the midweek, getting plugged into a neighborhood community, getting your boys plugged into youth group, because people can orbit around community, right. but it's really engaging in community that I think helps us grow, helps us change, and it's where God nurtures our faith and His love in our life. And so this is just one snapshot of one story of what God has done in one individual's life in our church. And so our encouragement to you, if you're in a, a place where you need connection and you need community, come join us both on Sunday, come join us at the midweek, check out the things that are happening on our website. We would love to meet you. We'd love to know you and walk with you no matter what season of life you're in. And so hopefully this story has been an encouragement to you. And we hope you have a great rest of the week, and we look forward to seeing you again this weekend. Take care, Meadowbrook Church.